We begin with a Fox News alert. A fifth victim has died after yesterday's shooting spree inside a bank in downtown Louisville, Kentucky. Meanwhile, one heroic rookie police officer is still fighting for his life after running toward the shooter just 10 days after graduating from the police academy. Todd Pyro joins us with the very latest. Todd. Yeah, that's right. The number of victims killed rising following yesterday's rampage at Old National Bank right near Louisville Slugger Field. Police say all five victims were bank employees. At least eight others were hurt, including two police officers. 26-year-old officer Nicholas Wilt is clinging to life after getting shot in the head while lunging toward the gunman. Officer Nicholas Wilt just graduated from the police academy on March 31st. He was struck in the head, engaged in this incident. Nick has come out of brain surgery and is in critical but stable condition. Police have identified the suspected shooter as 25-year-old Connor Sturgeon. Officials say he was an employee at Old National Bank, but was recently told he was being let go. Police say he opened fire on his co-workers just before the bank opened yesterday morning. Witnesses heard gunfire in a conference room, sending them running for their lives. He just started. Uh, he had a long assault rifle, and he just started. You hear the, fart, the, the, the shots just start firing. Whoever's next to me got shot, and hit bloods on me from it. The gunman was shot and killed by police when he pointed his rifle at them. Officials say he live streamed the attack on his Instagram account, even telling friends and family about his plans. Community now coping with the senseless loss of life, holding vigils for the victims and survivors of yesterday's tragedy. Kentucky's governor, who says a close friend is among the dead, asking for prayers and support. Back to you. All right, Todd, thank you very much. Uh, the governor also ordered the flags in Kentucky to fly at half mast until Friday night to commemorate the lives of the victims. He said, we will talk about issues in the days ahead. Today ought to be focused on the victims who are no longer with us. And of course, all eyes are on that rookie police officer we just mentioned a moment ago, just 10 days out of the academy. He was running toward the gunfire. He was doing everything right, according to this former FBI guy watch. What you're trained is to make sure to stop the violence. That's how you're yeah. trained. So coming fresh out of the academy, no doubt that they had put this into uh, training there. He had to, he heard the act of shooting. He was waiting for others to come. He could certainly hear the sirens. They were there very fast, as I mentioned before. However, his training kicked in, which caused him to take action. Heroic action by yeah. all members of the uh, Louisville PD. So many questions about the shooter. I mean, 25 years old from the University of Alabama, mm -hmm. uh, interned there a few years, lost his job. So he decides, okay, I have an idea. Uh, let's just stream this on Instagram and let me go in and kill as many people as possible uh, with a rifle. And a lot of answers uh, need to be done. I know Instagram Meta was contacted right away. They said, take it down. They said, we did. So we took it down. I'm sure police are using it as an investigation, but uh, he's dead. Uh, too many others are dead. And I got to give this governor credit. I mean, we've only see, I've only seen him on the national scene at uh, times of tragedy. Uh, remarkably composed, especially after losing two friends and uh, a third struggling for uh, their life. And the other thing is for him to say, I'm not talking politics now. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about guns or anything else. Let's just focus on what happened here. I, I thought that's a lesson for leadership. The governor was uh, very emotional, fighting back the tears when he was announcing that his, his good friend, Tommy Elliott, who was 63, one of his best friends, he said, he talked to him not about politics. He talked to him about what was going on in their everyday lives. He was very close to him, and he was one of the ones that was killed. Uh, the Daily Mail did an article or wrote an article and interviewed some of his friends. And he said, one guy said, I played football with him in eighth grade. And he said uh, he was out most of the year in eighth grade because he had multiple concussions, the shooter did. And then he had a few more in high school, and that's why he would wear, if you look at any of the pictures of him playing basketball in high school, he has a helmet on. He was a National Merit Scholar. He played basketball. He's a basketball star. He played football, and he ran track, and his nickname was Mr. Floyd Central because he went to Floyd's Knob High School. And in an essay that the Daily Mail um, found that he wrote in college, he said, my self-esteem has long been a problem for me. I was a late bloomer. He struggled. Um, for a certain extent to fit in, he said, negative self-image and making friends has not been easy. Yeah, uh, without a doubt, a star athlete in high school. His father was the head coach mm -hmm. of his high school 
there in Indiana as we and at the to... University of Indianapolis for 15 yeah. years. Yeah. Ends up a cold-blooded killer, disgraced his family.